Hello everybody, I'm going to make a quick video tutorial today showing how I go about putting fires into my fireplaces. Rich Baum and I were talking last week about different methods we each use, um, and after I told him my method, I figured why not make a quick video on it to show you how quick and easy it is. I'm going to do two different images. One, The first one is going to be a one-point perspective, then a two-point perspective, so you can see how I take my fire and skew it according to the perspective of the fireplace. I also use a stock image I have of a fire on a black background, which if you're watching this on our Shooting Spaces blog, um, I will include the file below for everybody to use as well. So once I have my image, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and place that image into it. So here's my fireplace image. And I'm going to scale it down significantly. Right about there. I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. Try to line it up as quick and as best as we can. The one point is even easier because there's not much skewing. And then the trick to this is using the layer blending modes and I go down to screen. And what screen does, it's going to remove all the black from the image. Um, then I usually change my opacity to about 50% between 50 and 75% until I see what I like. Um, looking at about probably 65 here, looks good. And then to finish it off, what I do is I take a black mask um, or a white mask with black paint and just at about 30%, I just kind of brush in the bottom just so you can see the fire coming through some of those rocks or wood for that matter. And that's it. I mean, pretty quick, pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Now the second image is going to be a little more complicated because we have to skew. It's a, you know the same, same living room but a different image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the image right back in there. And scale it down significantly again. Try and line up the bottom corner. Okay. Now I'm going to right click and go to perspective. When I click on perspective, I'm able to just bring up the side that I want to bring up and skew it kind of more into the perspective of the shot. I'm going to apply that and like I did before, go in and hit screen. That's going to remove all the black. Just bring it up a little. It's a little too high. It's still a little too big. So I'm just going to go back to the free transform and scale it down a little bit. I'm going to go back at about 65%. Put on a layer mask and with black, I'm just going to paint a little bit in the foreground. And we should be all set. Now, sometimes what I do um, is just to change it up is I'll go in and I'll, you know, flip this horizontal and then adjust the perspective accordingly just to have a little bit of a different look to the fire. So all my images don't have the same exact fire. Um, there you go. And I'll go back in. I'll paint a little bit out. But yeah, that's my method. Pretty quick, pretty straightforward. Um, it looks natural. It's not an overbearing fire where it looks fake. Um, and it takes, you know, under 30 seconds each one. So it's pretty quick. And as I mentioned, I'm including the fire image with the black background that I use on our Shooting Spaces blog post. So if you're watching this through YouTube, make sure to go to our blog. I will post a link in the YouTube description and you can download the image that way. Thanks for watching.